off with a cowslip. Maybe later you'll buy some meat in the field with the cows. I have these crossbars tacked into place right now. So I'm gonna have to come back in here and weld all these in place. I use these two bars right here, the big ones that are running across, and this clamp right here to make sure everything was level with the sides of the frame right here. So now everything is leveled. So all we have to do is come along and put boards right across the top of this and everything will be level. So I'm gonna use these long ones, just put them across here and then pulled the bars up so that they were level with the bottom of this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come back. First I'm gonna weld this crossbar right here since that's the main support on this end. I'm going to come in, weld the sides here, and then use some flat stock and weld a cap right here on the end just to keep dirt and stuff out of there. And then I'll do the same thing from the other end as well. So I've got my chop saw out here and some flat stock in it. Just cut off these pieces for right now since I need to let the welder cool down for a little bit. So unfortunately my chop saw blade has become too small to actually cut anything, so I'm going to have to replace it. Fortunately, these are pretty easy to replace, all you have to do is take off this one bolt right here with a, uh, an Allen wrench, and the whole blade comes right off. So to change this out, you just got to take it, put the Allen key in here, and which, uh, this one appears to be stuck. I'm going to put this back on there, like that, and then just tighten it up again. One very important thing you want to make sure is that it is unplugged because otherwise bad things could happen. So I'm going to take this and bring it back up. Now 
Well, should be good to go. So I have the welder back out. It's done with its cool down cycle. So I'm going to go ahead and start welding these last three supports actually onto the frame. Uh, they all look pretty square. Should be good to go.